Okay, this is a blocking diode and it's used to keep the, uh, the, the energy from the battery to flow back into the generator. Um, you'll see there's an arrow on here where uh, this end is the generator side, this end is the, the load. The load is anything that you're going to provide power to, like a battery or a light bulb. And uh, I'm going to strip both ends of the, of the diode here. So here's. Okay, we're going to go ahead and separate the black and the red wires just by taking a, a wire cutter here. Just cut between them like that, pull them apart. Just going to pull on the wires there and they separate. Just give you a little bit of wiggle room to work with. And this is about a size uh, 12 wire, so using your wire strippers, you uh, put the wire right here into the size 12 hole, roughly. Typically I'll go to one size smaller and just do a quick little push on it, then I'll go back up to the hole that the correct size, and now it lifts free pretty easily. There we go, so just strip that wire right there, should look like that. The next one same thing, the positive wire. Put it on the hole, and now you've got two stripped wires. Looks real good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and strip this side too. Just kind of snip it there, and then pull. Strip, size 12. You want strippers that are good and sharp. You want to do about uh, 3 eighths of, a, of an inch length of wire. This is too short, so you need to take off a tiny bit more. There you go, that's the correct length right there for a crimp connector. And again, same thing, about 3 eighths inch. So there, there's the other end of the wire, of the diode. Alright, now we're going to put the fork uh, crimp connectors on. So you're going to give a little twist to your wire first so it's, it'll slide into the barrel of the, of the crimp. And make sure they're just kind of twisted there. And I'm just going to slide that on. It should look just a little bit coming out right there, and that this is barrel is, is overlapping the housing, the wire housing. So that's good for strain relief. So that uh, if people uh, trip on your wires or you know, your wires are getting pulled on, it'll uh, provide some strain relief. It'll, now we're going to go ahead and crimp, crimp this. There's many types of crimpers out there. This is just one. And there's a blue dot right here, so we'll use this one here. And you put it right over the barrel. Now one, two, three, there you go. Push like that. It shouldn't be too hard. It makes a nice little line in it, and you pull on it. See, I can't pull that off. That's a good crimp right there. And here's the next one. Make sure you put these on the generator side here of the wiring. Same thing again. Make sure it can. There we go. One, two, three, and smash. Do it to a test. Oh, see, now that wasn't a good crimp. It was crimped too far forward. You could pull that right off. So you can't really reuse this because it's already been crimped. You have to throw this away and get a new one. Okay, so we're going to try this again. Make sure it's twisted so there's no wires fraying. And we're going to slide this on again. There we go. This time we'll make sure to get down a little farther 
on the barrel. All right there. All right there. Okay. So then you got a good dimple there. Pull on it. It doesn't come off at all. So there's your two connectors. They're called fork crimp style connectors. Now we're going to put them, connect them up to the generator terminal block. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and connect the uh, diode up, the blocking diode up to the generator. So uh, here's your diode, and over here is the generator side. So you take this side here, and you're going to go ahead and just put that screw right on there. Make sure it's nice and tight. Here's the negative side, right onto the third terminal. Okay, do a tug test, pull on the wires. There you go.